The annoying thing about deleting data from a database is that it's gone forever. We can't even look at the data to see if we need it because it's gone. If we need the data back, our only solution will be to restore a backup and hope that we have the backup just before it was deleted so we minimize the loss. Thankfully, Laravel provides a built-in feature that allows us to flag database rows as deleted without actually deleting them from the database. This video discusses how to use soft deletes in Laravel. Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. Let's start out and talk about why we should be using soft deletes. When we delete a row from the database, it's gone forever without going through a potentially painful process of doing a full database restore. Soft deleting the data allows us to easily view and restore the data with minimal work and can be a huge time saver when data is accidentally deleted. This is done by adding a column to our database table that indicates if the row has been deleted or not. It could just be a Boolean value, or we could track the date and time that the row was deleted. Laravel provides support for soft deleting using the Illuminate Database Eloquent Soft Delete trait. Adding the soft delete column to a new table. Let's start by creating a new model to track a project in a project management application. We'll create the model and the migration in one step so we can be as lazy as possible. We want this to be a soft deleting model, so we're going to be using the soft delete trait in our examples. When we open the newly created migration, we'll add a call to the soft deletes function in our up function. The soft deletes function is what sets up the table to allow for the soft deletes trait to work. Without it, we'll get query errors. After we run the migration, let's look at what the table looks like inside of MySQL. As we can see, there's a deleted at column in the table definition. This is what the soft deletes function call added to the table and what the soft deletes trait will use to track if the rows have been deleted. The value will be null if the row isn't deleted and the timestamp of when the row was deleted if it has been, adding the soft delete columns to an existing table. Out of the box, Laravel doesn't have the soft delete column on the users table, so let's add that. We're going to create a new migration to add it. Next, we're gonna alter the migration so it both adds the columns in the up function using the soft deletes function and removes them in the down function using the drop soft deletes function. Running the migration will get us ready for the next steps. Setting up the model to use soft deletes. Now that we have our database table set up, we can start working with soft deleted models in our code. It's important to note that even though we added the soft deletes column to our model, Laravel doesn't automatically use it until we add the trait. So if we delete something now, we're still irreparably deleting it. Soft deleting a model. Now that everything is set up, let's test to see what happens when we delete something. First, we're gonna create a new project. When we check the database, we can see that it's been persisted to the database and the deleted at column is still null. As a reminder, this indicates that it hasn't been deleted. Now we'll delete the model. And when we check back in with MySQL, we can see that the deleted at column is no longer null, restoring a model. If we accidentally delete the model, Laravel makes it very easy to restore the record using the restore function. In reality, all this is doing is setting the deleted at column to null and then saving it. So much easier than doing a full database restore. Finding a deleted model. What happens when we delete a model and need to find it later? First, let's set up a new project and soft delete it. When we attempt to find the model using the find or fail function, we'll receive a model not found exception. This is because the soft deletes trait is removing those deleted results. To get around this, we need to call the with trashed function before we call find or fail. Finding a deleted model in a relationship. While we're using soft deletes, it's important that we also be on the lookout for anywhere that eloquent relationships interact with those soft deleted models. Normally, we would define a relationship like so. If the user associated with this project is soft deleted and we attempt to access it through this relationship, the function will return null. The solution to this again is to use the with trashed function to have it return a result. Viewing soft deleted models from a controller. One of the annoying parts about the soft delete trait is that if a user attempts to access a page for a deleted resource, they'll receive a 404 error. Ideally, what we want to have happen is for them to receive a helpful message informing them the item has been deleted and maybe why. To resolve this, we can add a call to the with trashed function to our route definition. Hard or forced deleting a model. Let's say we have a case where someone accidentally enter entered information and we need to delete the record from the database and not just mark it as deleted. The soft deletes trait provides the force delete function that will do just that. Now, if we look back into our database, we see that the row is missing from the database. Adding deleted by. One of the things that we like to do is also track who deleted the model. This is helpful because then not only can we tell people when a model was deleted, but also who did it. 
it makes it so much easier to track down why it was deleted if it wasn't supposed to be. To do this, we add a deleted by column and then create our own delete and restore functions that function on both the deleted at and deleted by columns. We generally add this to our own soft delete model class in projects, so it can be easily reused on all of our models. What you need to know. Soft deletes allow us to keep deleted data in a database. This makes it easy to restore, and it also makes it easy to see when it was deleted. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure that you subscribe, comment, and like as it helps others find us. Do you want to see your names listed in the credits? Check out our recently lost Patreon. The link is in the comments. Are you using soft deletes? How is it working out for you? This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.